for everything in the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. 1 John 2:16. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and pleasing to the eyes, and that it was desirable for obtaining wisdom, she took the fruit and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Genesis 3, 6. Samuel said, Has the Lord as much delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected you from being king. 1 Samuel 15 22 to 23. One evening, David got up from his bed, and walked around, on the roof of the palace. From the roof he saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful, and David sent someone to find out about her. The man said, she is Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, and the wife of Uriah the Hittite. 2 Samuel 11, 2-3 Samson went down to Timnah, and saw there a young Philistine woman. When he returned, he said to his father and mother, I have seen a Philistine woman in Timnah. Now get her for me as my wife. His father and mother replied, Isn't there an acceptable woman among your relatives, or among all our people? Must you go to the uncircumcised Philistines to get a wife? But Samson said to his father, Get her for me. She's the right one for me. Judges 14, 1-3 one day, Ahab said, Naboth, your vineyard is near my palace. Give it to me, so I can turn it into a vegetable garden. I'll give you a better vineyard, or pay whatever you want for yours. Naboth answered, This vineyard has always been in my family. I won't let you have it. So, Ahab went home, angry and depressed, because of what Naboth had told him. He lay on his bed, just staring at the wall, and refusing to eat a thing. 1 Kings 21, 2-4 Lot looked around, and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan toward Zoar was well watered, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So, Lot chose for himself, the whole plain of the Jordan, and set out toward the east. The two men parted company. Abram lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain, and pitched his tents near Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked, and were sinning greatly against the Lord. Genesis 13:10-13. And if your eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out, and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye, than to have two eyes, and be thrown into the fire of hell. Matthew 18, 9. If your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body, than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Matthew 5:29. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God, with one eye than to have two eyes, and be thrown into hell. Mark 9:47. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. Matthew 6:22. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eyes are good, your whole body also is full of light. But when they are bad, your body is full of darkness. Luke 11:34. Be careful, then, that the light within you is not darkness. Luke 11:35. 35.
all this Bible verse, tell us lust to buy sin. Read everyday Bible, and pray to Lord for forgiveness, and turn to Lord Jesus. Amen. May God bless you all. Hope see you next video.